All right, number four. Number four is the one that looks like it has a backwards F on, in the top view. As always, I'm going to start with the front view. My width is 2.25 and my height is 1.5. So that's nine squares by six squares. Okay, nine squares by six squares. And now this part here is 0. 0.5. This part here is 0. 0.5. Point 0.5. And then this is 0.75, and then this guy is 0.5. So I'm going to lay the, those points in. So that's 2, 3, 2. Okay, and now to make this L piece, I need to know that this part here is 0.5 tall. So I'm just going to kind of fill in the blank there. There's 2 and connect to 2. Okay. And that represents this surface. Oops, I'm running out of space to... There we go. This represents this surface, this represents this surface in the back, this represents the L shape, and this represents this rectangle right here. So now I'm going to do the top view, once again skipping two blocks between the views, projecting my width, and now I have to go back to the drawing to get the depth. And the depth on this one is 1.75. which is going to be seven triangles, seven rectangles. So you guys have me saying triangles because we did ISOs for so long. Okay. Now I'm going to project right here. This is coming back three. So this corner up here goes here and it's going back three. This corner up here is going here and it goes back three. And that's going to give me that little cutout. Okay. And now this piece here is 0.75, so that's going to be 3. And now this corner has to come up. And where those two meet, it's going to look like this. So when I'm looking at, looking at my top view, here's the F shape. Okay. This here is this rectangle. And now this guy here is this open slot. So I really need to erase this part. And now I'm ready to do the side view after I tell first period to quiet down. Hey, back row. And now we're going to go over two to do the side view. Project over the height. And once again, the depth on this one is an oddball depth that is 1.75, which is going to be seven 
squares. Okay. So now looking at the side of this thing, I'm going to come over 3 for 0.75 and I'm going to come up 2 for 0.5. Once again, I could even just project that one. And I told you guys you can project from the top to the side, but on a drawing this simple, it's kind of pointless to do that. Okay, so there's my L shape coming alive. For the side view, I've got this, and I've got the rectangle, the square that goes here. Now I'm missing a hidden line, so I'm going to go count corners, and I'm going to look in my top view. I have this corner that's behind two walls, right? So I know that that's going to be a hidden line. My depth axis is here, and my depth axis is here. So in order to figure out where that goes, I'm going to count back one, two, three, which is going to be one, two, three here. Okay. So I'm going to draw that hidden line. Remember, keep your dashes even. Don't, don't draw it messy like I did. Clean up your drawing, make sure your corners are nice and tight, don't leave tails, and uh, make sure everything's drawn straight with a ruler. Cut it out, tape it in your notebook. And that's number four, guys.